Hello, and welcome to this video about the Client Portal Notion template. In this video, we'll explore how to use it from both the worker's and the client's perspectives. So, without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial. On the home page at the top of the dashboard, you will find all your subpages organized into areas, project navigation, admin and management, and business interaction. Just below, there's a section where you can quickly review your ongoing projects for a snapshot view. Click the button on the left to start configuring the portal. You will be directed to the introduction page. From here, you can set up your presentation as either a freelancer or a company providing a service. This space will be visited by your clients, so be sure to present yourself authentically. To assist you, a comprehensive guide is available on the presentation board at the top. This guide is organized by theme, with pages dedicated to introducing who you are, outlining your values, providing your business info for easy access, and detailing your mission. Feel free to customize this section as desired by exploring all available options such as adding images, links, callouts, and more. To navigate easily within the project area, find the button on the left side of each dashboard. Click it to move to the next page effortlessly. Welcome to the Project Tracking section, where you can monitor the progress of your ongoing projects by creating dedicated pages that include task tracking. Let's explore how this works. At the top, you'll find your projects organized into ongoing, achieved, and archived categories. Click the toggle list to reveal the content within each category. The tasks inside correspond to entries independent of the project. To create a new project, click the New button. Depending on your needs or those of your client, you can choose from three different project types. The Simple Project option is ideal for defining project goals and brainstorming ideas without needing detailed task management. It's perfect for setting the purpose of a project without diving into task organization. For a more structured approach, you have two additional options, Complete Project and Advanced Project. The Complete Project offers a straightforward task management system. The Advanced Project functions similarly to the Complete Project, but allows for project structuring with modules. At the top of your project dashboard, you'll find a timeline where you can outline different project phases to break down the workflow. To add a new module, click on a start date and drag it to the end date. Once the module is created, give it a title in the provided space. All your modules will be displayed in the Modules and Tasks section, providing a clear overview of the project's progress. To add subtasks to your modules, click on a module, then click the New Task button in the Linked Tasks Manager. Name your task and set the due date. The task will now appear in your project dashboard. You can update the task's status to reflect its progress and add detailed descriptions allowing the overall project progress to update based on the status of the tasks. It's crucial for the client to see the project's progress, so the progress bar of each module reflects the average of linked tasks, and the overall project progress corresponds to the average of each module. Don't forget to track the time spent on each task by entering it in minutes. It will automatically convert to hours and minutes. Each project dashboard also includes an Invoices and Expenses section, where you can manage all transactions related to the client's project. To add an invoice, click the corresponding button, select the date, 
enter the amount, and choose the appropriate category for organization. Once everything is set, update the invoice status from draft to paid. Only paid transactions will be counted. The expenses database functions similarly. You can monitor updates directly from the dashboard where reports on received and canceled invoices will be displayed. You can also easily add a contract by clicking here. We will cover the payments and contracts section in more detail later. Here we are at the final deliverables. This space is organized to provide your client with easy access to the completed work. You'll find two columns. The first one on the left is for inputting your files. Click the corresponding area to upload a file from your personal workspace or embed a file from a link. If your files are already in your drive, you can embed them here. Create a new input box if needed to embed a Google Drive link. You can also embed files from OneDrive, Dropbox, Evernote, and other services you use. When your client reviews your work, they can click the Revisions Needed button to change the status of the deliverables to Revision, indicating that the review does not meet their needs. New files can then be uploaded in the area on the right. Once the revisions are complete, the status can be changed from Revision to Completed, by clicking the button below to mark it as finished. The feedback section is simple to use. Just click the form at the bottom of the dashboard to start answering each question. As mentioned earlier in the project database, each invoice and expense is linked to a project. Project dashboards are also the best place to add transactions. The Payments section serves as a manager to track your transactions. At the top of the page, you'll find a summary for each project, including your income, expenses, and balance. It also shows the number of invoices issued and how many have been canceled. Below, you'll find your upcoming invoices with all relevant information such as payment terms and the number of days until the due date for better management. To receive notifications from Notion for due dates, access the due date property and add a reminder to ensure you don't forget if necessary. You can also manage expenses which are organized by project and add attachments if needed. At the bottom of the page, You'll find contracts linked by project. Access the contracts we created earlier. As you can see, the project is already linked. Select the type of contract and the date. The client can then sign it with just a click after reviewing it. The timesheet page allows you to calculate the total amount you should charge your client for each task based on your hourly rate. As mentioned earlier, tracking the time spent on each task within your project management system is essential. This helps you calculate the total hours invested in a project and enables you to create a customized invoice with a detailed timesheet. To get started, set your hourly rate for each task. If the total time hasn't been recorded yet, make sure to update it so that the total amount is calculated automatically. In the project view, you'll find a report at the bottom of each table summarizing the total charge for the entire project. Additionally, a summary report for each project is available at the top of the dashboard. The meeting section is used to schedule appointments with your clients. To schedule a meeting, Click the Action button on the left. A new line will then appear in the Inbox section, allowing the client to select a date based on your business hours and the times set on the introduction page. Be sure to add an end date and include the time option. Tags indicate the nature of the meeting, and the priority property lets you rate the meeting from not important to very important. Click the checkbox to move the meeting from the Inbox to the regular view. Below, you'll find a board displaying all your upcoming meetings and a monthly calendar.
The Account Access section allows you to catalog the accounts you will use for the client project, providing direct access from Notion. You can also add links to any websites you need. To add another account, simply click the New button in the corresponding database. Name the new page and add a cover by uploading it from your personal files. The workspace functions as a collaborative space for exchanging and setting ideas with your client. You'll find an ideas tracker, a color palette database, and a space to embed a Figma workspace. Explore all of Notion's features to customize this space according to your project needs. To start using the ideas tracker, click the new button, rename the new page, and add tags to organize it. Then, click to upload an image or paste a web link to embed an image. The Messages section allows you to communicate with your client regarding the project. Everything you need will be available in your portal. Click the first action button to get started. The new entry will appear in the Inbox section. Rename the message, choose the subject based on the content, and select the priority. Once set, you can send the message, which will then appear in the Sent Messages section, allowing you to reply. Open the message to view its content, then reply as needed, and update the status by marking it as replied or canceled, if necessary. Messages that receive a reply will appear in other columns, making it easy for the client to see your response. Feel free to archive messages as needed to keep the dashboard refreshed.